Uh, I think we're going to get there perhaps quicker than we would have done before. If you look at flights to Mars, for example, game-changing technology enables us to go to Mars in days, not months. Uh, when I talk about game-changing technology, one thing that will help will be to let somebody like a Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz or somebody who's studying ion engines help us develop a game-changing uh, uh, interplanetary engine that'll cut the time to go to Mars in half. Uh, the net reduces some of my concern about getting humans there. But if you gave me an infinite pocket of money, pot of money, I could not get a human to Mars um, within the next 10 years because there are just some things that we don't know. We don't understand the radiation environment. Um, we don't understand fully what happens to the human body in transiting for eight months. Uh, what I would like to do is develop an in-space technology that allows us to go to Mars in days instead of months. And I am told by very good friends of mine, people that Senator, uh, you know, Senator Nelson has had an opportunity to live with for a while who think that we can go to Mars in days. Uh, at least half the time that it would take us right now, but we've got to invest in that technology. And we're oh so close, but we're just not there yet. So there are things that we have to do and there are technologies that we have to develop if we want to be able to realize any of these dreams. Stop. Just stop. I'm breaking out my robot voice. What is this magical engine that is going to take us to Mars in mere days? What's Charlie Bolden talking about? He has mentioned Dr. Frank Chang Diaz, so I'm guessing he must be talking about Vasima. But if he is then he has been woefully misinformed about its capabilities. The Ad Astra rocket company has been working on Vasima since 1977. And to date they've demonstrated less than a tenth of a pound of thrust, four seconds at a time. I don't think Ad Astra have ever made any claims that a Vasima engine can take astronauts to Mars in mere days. I don't understand how the rocket equation works out. You'd need over 650 kilometers per second of delta V to go to Mars in a week. To do that you'd need at least 25,000 seconds of ISP. Nothing does that, not even nuclear thermal propulsion.